I think I would be a great housewife. And I do think that Andy's comments are much nicer than they were in the past. I do appreciate him saying he doesn't want to gouge his eyes out at this point. We were just actually discussing that this morning after watching how big the uh, Scandal Vanderpump thing is. We definitely should have had uh, more cheating of him in our storyline because clearly cheating now is is mainstream great everyone loves cheaters so uh, this is Spencer's take he was just <laughs> saying that we should have had you know he wanted to accuse me of cheating with Brody yeah, I thought it, it would have been a one-man storyline and you yeah know, I think it would have been great for the show yeah right? no that's just yeah so just Spencer's so just that right. I think we missed that boat Mm. Neither of us watched The Hills, that's why we were... I saw season one, and a few episodes of season two. Okay, that's more than I have seen. I've seen you some... You watched no. me when I was on it. You, no, I saw you, you in a, saw I saw you in a trailer, oh, okay. and only because my mom's friend Lucy was like, check out her, you should date her, and I said, hmm. Uh, we always forget that said, part of the story when we tell our love. I, I always tell that. I remember walking in the library at my house, she's sitting there with my mom, and they... He goes, Spencer, do you know this girl? You should date her. She was right. And Thanks, I Lucy. said, wow, she has a TV show? <laughs> She's <laughs> just my type. Uh, that is that perfect. Is deal. Well, we're working on Kristen Cavallari. Um, so that would be great. And her and I catch up and get dinner when she's in town. And Working on sounds like we're desperate, honey. Well, oh, she's busy. No. We'll we're locking her, in. We'll fit her in our schedule. <laughs> okay. okay. We have a long okay. booking. We got some big. All right. And uh, are you going to get. Working on. <laughs> <laughs> Don't. Yeah. Working hard on it. No, we're good. Are you, are <laughs> you going to book Brody? Uh, I would actually rather uh, book Brody's new fiance, baby mama, without Brody. That would be a good, you know, be a good interview. Okay, that's probably, Not gonna probably the extent of it. So we're going to work on that one also. So no, <laughs> what we learned from the Hills reboot is it's, it's time to pivot, try to get some new talent. Yeah, I think that's important for anyone to move on in life. So it's one thing if you are doing a Hills reboot, which what we did, and that was fun to be able to dive back into that world, but that wasn't part of our world at the time, and it has been a long time before that. So we definitely are moving forward, and I think everybody has to be able to continue in the 16th minute of Spidey and our podcast and a lot of other projects we have ahead, which is great, and it's a, a long life ahead, so there's lots to do. Heidi, you're so inspirational. <laughs> Yeah, I think I would be a great housewife. I could move to Orange County easily. You know, I have ties down there. I'm right near Beverly Hills. I would be great on that show. And I do think that Andy's comments are much nicer than they were in the past. So I do appreciate him saying he doesn't want to gouge his eyes out at this point. And that you were trash. And that I was yeah, trash. Because you've come so, a long way from trash. Honey. Yeah, but so, I do think he knows yeah. a little more about us than he's letting on, especially with past passion comments. But I do think that I would be great for the franchise and the woman would have to be on their toes. I was just thinking since Taylor Swift is making Kansas City so famous right now, we could move to Kansas City, live down the street from Travis Kelsey, and do a Real Housewives of Kansas City. And maybe Taylor could appear once they get married, if they were to. Oh, I'll, just I'll just text Taylor right there, come on. Double date, so we're make ready. Make sure you check this E online digital. Spencer loves football, now that okay. Taylor's there. She's, she'll check that out later. You know, I have actually at one time was very famous as Heidi's husband was my was my Chiron, and uh, so I have experience in being a celebrity husband. Uh, personally, though, I don't want to be on any Housewife franchise. I would like our own television show. I don't like sharing. I don't like casts. You know what I've learned from trying to do the Hills reboot is. You end up relying on a bunch of image crafting self saboteurs. And, you know, at the end of the day, it technically is a team sport when you have a cast. And we learned that, you know, it's not very many good teams to be on. So we'd probably have to go to, if we were to do it, we'd have to go to Salt Lake City. I feel like they're the only ones right now that people are talking about. I love this. From Colorado, that would But be no, sense. I, you know.
hiding sponsor shows where I'm putting my energy. Uh, well, I personally have, you know, have not used it as you can tell, but um, I've been, I have some friends that actually have and some it worked for and some it didn't. So I, I don't think it is a miracle thing that people act like, so, but you know, we are, we support everyone having the choice to inject themselves with whatever they'd like. It's their body. <laughs> Go for it. it. There was a mistake. I thought that show was House of Heroes <laughs> when I was uh, pitched it. I'm just honest. So, you know, that's not necessarily a villain. It's just, it's, you know, per se. So I just stopped by and say hi. Looks like a great show. I will tune in. The thing with most TV villains is I feel like it's methodical, right? So what are they choosing? What's their angle? Are they what show are they trying to stand out on? What are their tactics? I mean, right now the best villain, which is, just blows my mind, is um, Ariana from the Scandal thing. A Raquel? No, Ariana. Oh, you think she is? <laughs> yeah, I think she's behind it all. She's Kaiser. She's Kaiser Soze. I, you know. She's, they're still living together. Something's going on here. I'm very suspicious with that. The best part about being a mom is the daily love and being able to be with them all the time. Like, I love being a mom. It's my favorite thing in the world. I love the hard moments. I love the good moments because it's all good. And it just really puts life in perspective about how quickly it's going and how precious the time is and that you don't get things back. I'm going to get all emotional. <laughs> So I, it's okay. Your I makeup love artist being a mom. Right there. Okay. You cry, honey. Yeah, I love being a mom. There's nothing about it to me that is an amazing. It's like my favorite thing ever. Gunner is now coming into Pokemon, which is fun. He actually loves Universal Studios. I think it's one of his favorite things to go to in the world. You're getting a little Park. tired of going down the Jurassic Park oh, ride. It, that drop. That. It gets you. You do not have a skinny margarita before you go on that. But we're a lot of we're a big nature family, so I love going hiking with them. We all go nature outside. Nature family. <laughs> we're like the wild crats. And Riker, he's so little. He's you know just turning 11 months coming up and crawling and all the new milestones are so fun. Um, you know, this is, what rating is this network? We try to <laughs> sort of, we try to schedule a yeah. date night. Yeah. Um, <laughs> Oh, this is just, you know. Yeah, let's just, you just, whatever you're thinking, you just, <laughs> okay, I'll answer this You one. know, romance is, yeah. uh, is a key part of a successful relationship. It's, and date nights are yeah, great. Yeah. So date we try to have date. at least every other week or every week, just one night where we can go to dinner and have a babysitter and make sure that we connect because it does get so busy and you don't get that time and it's easy to you know, set it aside and just be like, let's do that later or catch up this time, but it's really important to spend that time. Oh, well, Heidi's very sick of my cooking. <laughs> I think it's actually, she thinks it's like a prisoner. Another She's meatball. Like, um, <laughs> like meat, meat and rice. Meat and rice. <laughs> mm. I appreciate the effort, you know. Oh, you added a pickle. <laughs> Better than my protein shake. Um, definitely going out to a, a lovely dinner um, is, is a highlight nowadays. But uh, yeah, a lot, of, a lot of home cooked <laughs> survival food. Right. End of the world, we are ready. You know, it's just we got the whole menu. It is definitely um, very liberating. You know, it's nice to be able to be on our own platform with Spotify and to be able to really have guests on that we're interested in and go behind the scenes of the heyday of the hills and past things we've been. Uh, involved in and to have other people's insight of Hollywood and their stories so it's it's been a great transition for us and you know Spotify does have like six 4k cameras so it's pretty much like shooting a TV show as well so it still has the magical reality TV energy that Spidey and Off Limits really yeah, go hand in hand like maybe for our guest if there's something they don't want to talk about we obviously don't push that or if anyone but, else has boundaries but we're very candid <laughs> yeah and if we end up talking about it you know oopsies yeah um no i feel like if you want to be 16 minute fame energy on our podcast you gotta, you gotta put it all out there